Well, we are learning more today about the Buffalo Public School District's plan to begin reopening schools for classes on February 1st. It was approved last night by the school board. Now the district offered to take us inside one of the schools to see how they've been preparing, but we have been following a company policy to avoid interviews indoors and we declined. They did, however, provide photos to two on your sides, Ron Plants, who has a look at what's being done to get ready for Buffalo students. This afternoon, some students waiting for their rides home outside the Buffalo School District's Hutchinson Central Technical High School. Some of the first allowed inside a building for instructional testing, as you can see in these pictures supplied by the district. This just after the school board's school reopening approval vote last night, and today this statement. We're very confident that we can bring our children back here safely. First up, on February 1st, grades pre-K through second, and the senior class members in high school, along with some listed as highest need students for each school, they're being invited back to class. So those students are now going through the process. Schools have canvassed them, made multiple contacts, and each family is making the decision if they want to opt out and remain on remote instruction for the remainder of the third quarter until April 23rd or if they want to accept the invitation. And then the other remaining grades could be phased in perhaps over two week intervals through March with this often repeated conditional line, which is tied to the regional status of the pandemic with infection rates. Depending on the science, depending on the recommendations, then further determinations will be made. The highest need students predicted to be about 50 to 100 per school building would be in class each day, while others would be in a hybrid mode, two days in class per week with remote for the other days like the other now open suburban districts. There are also some senior class support groups. As for proper spacing between students and their desk, each of the 60 school buildings has been assessed for what they call recapturing available space. We are recapturing spaces like our libraries, um, things that might be typically used as computer labs. Those are being recaptured. So yes, we are recapturing in some cases gymnasiums, depending on what works for the building. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.